Well, I've heard it said that sometimes it's a good thing to shock your system. And uh, mine got shocked today. I didn't even record it. <laughs> I went to my doctor's appointment, which was great. My blood pressure was normal. Um, she told me I had lost eight pounds since the last time I was there a month ago. I didn't realize I had lost eight pounds in a month, but apparently I have, according to her scale. Um, but I didn't eat before I went. So after I left my doctor's appointment, I went into the farmer's market and I got there early so I could get a parking spot because I wanted to get my corn and my tomatoes, which I did, but not until I stopped at a bakery and got a cookie. And then I went in and had lunch in a burger place and had a big old greasy, juicy hamburger with uh, french fries. And I got to tell you, <laughs> I, I tasted every bite. It was the first time I'd had a hamburger like that in a long time. It was just a quarter pound hamburger. Um, it, was at, it wasn't at McDonald's. It was at a restaurant. I, I think I uh, tracked 14 points for it because it did have a little bit of guacamole on top of it. It had a lot of hot stuff on it. But, you know, I had the bun with it and everything. And it came with French fries. I didn't eat all the fries, but I still tracked a large order. So, I mean, I'm at 37 points right now, and it's not even close to dinner time. I don't even need dinner. I figure if I'm hungry tonight, I'll, I'll have a bowl of yogurt with some fruit or something. But, um, yeah, so my body got the shock. Oh, then I stopped at the grocery store because I forgot to pick up... Um, uh, forgot to pick up some lemon juice for my tomatoes and um, so while I was there I also picked up a package of pumpkin cookies which I ate two of them on the way home I don't know why I wasn't hungry and they weren't even that good so I want to tell you this morning when, when I put my weigh in video and I said I needed to add more fat well I must have met all in one day because that's what I did today. Um, and physically, I feel yucky already just because I have sugar in my system that I haven't had in a long time. And I've got junk, even though it was good. It tasted good, except for those pumpkin cookies. And the cookies had cream cheese frosting on it. There's still three of them left. I threw them in the trash. So... Um, I'll be back on plan tomorrow, according to my menu, but today it was off the rails day. I haven't had one of those in a long time. And uh, all of my cravings <laughs> were satisfied all in one day. So anyway, um, I'm not going to be showing you my food today because uh, it was pathetic. I didn't record it. And I'm pretty much ashamed of myself. After I and I had just left the doctor's where she was patting me on the back, telling me how proud she was of my weight loss and how um, you know she's pretty confident that by the end of the year I'm going to be off all of my meds because I've lost enough weight to where my blood pressure has normalized and my heart rate has normalized. So I'm glad she wasn't with me at the farmers market because it was uh, I don't know what came over me. <laughs> I, I really don't. So anyway, it was one of those days. It's done and over with. I'm moving on. So just wanted to let you know that uh, today was a complete diet fail. And I'm not calling Weight Watchers a diet. I'm just a food diet. Anything you eat is a diet. Um, uh, it, was a, it was a health diet failure because there was nothing healthy about anything I ate today, except for maybe the little bit of pumpkin that was in those cookies. <laughs> so, onward. I'm going to start working on my tomatoes, and um, I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, I'll show you tomorrow. I'll show you everything I ate. But this is all you're going to get today. So, you guys have a good day. Um, I hope it, you're eating better than I ate today. Uh, I am drinking tons of water right now. And um, the moral of the story is 
I need to eat in the morning. I, I thought I was being clever by not eating before I went to the doctors because I knew she was going to weigh me. So, the thing of it is, subconsciously, or maybe not so subconsciously, I think I was planning this all day. After my weigh-in, I think I was planning on overeating today. So, because I remember driving to the farmer's market thinking, looking at the restaurant saying, oh, that sounds good. I haven't had that for a while. That sounds good. Then I temporarily would tuck myself out of it. But then I started walking around town. I did walk a lot today, so I guess that's one good thing. But uh, there's one burger restaurant in Perrysburg called Perry's Burgers that um, has great hamburgers. And I just really wanted one. I For the last three weeks when I've gone to the farmer's market, I've looked at that restaurant thinking, I would really like a burger, and today was the day. So, not expecting uh, success on the scale tomorrow, but I don't weigh in for a week, so I got the rest of the week to work to get off the damage. At least it wasn't that macaroni and cheese that I was eating up in Idaho, <laughs> where I would gain four pounds overnight. So, okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow with what I ate. Bye-bye.